Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Since last time, finished off level 3 for Rex there, rested up at the inn at the cave there, so we're all set and ready to go! Nothing special at level 3, I just wanted to finish it off while we were right next to an inn. And some of the enemies to the south on the way to H Hagleton, not so easy. Like these guys, okay, ornery onions. These guys can sometimes use a medicinal herb on themselves to restore their HP. Not that it really does them any good, because I can one-shot them, but that is something they can do. So, something to keep in mind. Hey, hey, all right. Ah, okay, let's take a look around. Start haggling. But anyway, yeah, we can break all these barrels. We can get some treasure while we're at it. Okay, that's everything we can do there. Anyone else at the church besides the priest? Nope. Okay, never mind. Carry on. Now, before going to the inn, I want to uh, go to the bazaar here and see what people are selling. See if anyone's interested in buying what I'm selling. Oh. Well, okay, we'll take a look around. Remember that for... Well, not later, right now. But, you know, you want to remember that. Oh, well, yeah, other than the monsters outside. Nah, I wouldn't worry about that. Well, yeah, that could be a problem. Okay, well, anyway, this is one of the guys who can potentially buy our village goods. So, let's see what we can get for it. Ooh, 300. That's a lot of money. You know, I wonder what happens if you say yes. Let's find out. Sucker! Nuts. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna reload my save state there and uh, see if we can bump up the price a little bit. Just for trying to rip me off, I'm gonna steal your goods. But anyway, yeah, the I think the only two people who would buy your village goods are Buck over there and Bill over here. I is that like a reference or something? Buck and Bill? Uh, I, I don't know. But anyway, basically what you're supposed to do is go back and forth over and over and over again between the two brothers there, and they'll keep on bidding the price up and up and up and up until they hit the cap, and then we can get as much money as we want out of it, or as much as we can get out of it. So I want to do this first, so that way I can actually buy some stuff, because some of the people here actually have some pretty good stuff. So yeah, just keep on saying no, and we'll uh, get the price up there. I like haggling in this game. It's a little better than the usual, like, okay, here's what I'm going to sell this for. Now I'm going to say no, and drop the price a bit. And if you do that enough times, then you can get the best price for it, instead of doing that right from the start. Kind of a silly game pit gameplay mechanic, but... Well, here, uh, I like how they uh, kind of handle it. I guess it's a bit of backtracking, so... Eh, whatever. But anyway, okay, Bill's max price is 450 Even though he's the nice guy, I'm not going to sell to him because Buck will actually pay us more than he can. His cap is a little higher because he's a jerk. But I don't care about that. All I care about are the numbers. So now we can... Well, I think it's that good. Okay, yeah, that's going to be the best price he will give us. So yeah, 480, pretty good price that we can get out of it. Ha ha! I forget how this transpires in the Super Famicom version. I think there was something like you couldn't do that or something. But anyway, now nah, I've already got a leather shield. I'm not gonna buy that from him. What you got? Sure, why not? Sounds like a great deal. Two thousand! I don't even have that kind of money. You're kidding me, right? What are you gonna do? Sell me an elixir for nine thousand next time? Uh, I do have the money for that, but I don't think that's worth it. By the way, if you don't want to buy this now, you don't have to. I mean, it's a good idea, but we can get one later. And there's nothing really critical you can get from these things, so I wouldn't really worry about that. 
I'm being punished for my sins, right? But anyway, yeah, 200, lowest price you'll go to. Dang. What happens if I say no? Ha uh ha. -huh. No, no, I, I, that is the price that I want to get. So, uh, I'll uh, load my save state there. Boom, we get a thief's key. So now we can open up some doors. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't think slimes were that kind. Oh, so you sold us a key to rob the inn of the town? Well, thank, thanks for letting me know where I can use it. Just seems kind of odd. But okay. Ah, well, yeah, he is kind of in charge. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose so. But anyway, okay, before doing more stuff at the bazaar, we want to head to the inn because, well, they got some stuff we can get here. See the blue doors? That's where we can use the thief's key. And we get the bestiary of the game. Unfortunately, it's not nearly as useful as a bestiary, or in-game bestiary in, like, any Final Fantasy game that has it. So, oh well. They give you a little bit of stats, but not that much. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it, pal. But anyway, okay, down here, we got the bank, if you want to store some items, or gold. I don't know why you would want to do that, but, well, here we are. So we're going to rob the bank. Anything in the barrels? No. Okay. But anyway, as you can see, Thief's Key already paid for itself there. And we've got some more doors that we can open with that, so we'll keep that in mind. Okay, so anyway, let's see what else we uh, got going on here. Well, that would be an upgrade to my armor, but, well, I have something else in mind. Um, no, no, I'm not even going to bother haggling with you. How's it going? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Might as well call the place Dullerton, huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it seemed pretty reasonable. What does he say now? Oh, okay. Well, isn't haggling a hobby? Well, anyway, this is the place I want—I really want to buy some stuff from. So let's see. Let's sell some of that excess equipment, and then I'll buy some new armor from him. Sounds good. Let's see what we got. Okay, he's got the scale armor, which is a pretty good upgrade compared to what I've already got. Eight more defense. It'll reduce physical damage by two from each attack, so... All right, and that'll last us a really long time. Same thing with the scale shield, too. Not quite as big of an upgrade, but still, it is an upgrade, and we're not going to be able to get a better upgrade for quite some time also. So we'll hang on to those, and I think that's good there. So let's uh, clear a little bit more inventory space there, shall we? Awesome. I hope I have enough money for everything I want to get. And, okay, yeah, I think that's good. We'll just leave the herbs where they are. Eventually, I'll put the thief's key into the bag. But, yeah, I can't sell anything else, so. Oh, well. Okay, so anyway, I want to talk to this guy. Ah, nuts. Ah, okay, bye. See ya. Oh, what do you got? Last one what? I'm not going to buy something if you're not going to tell me what it is. Who do you think you are, Rip Cheeto? Or was it the other guy? I forget. But anyway, yeah, let's load our save state and uh, buy from him. And, well, let's see what we got. A pot lid? That's it? Well, actually, I did want to buy that because we're going to get some party members later on who can equip very, very few shields in the game. But that is one of them. And if you talk to this guy again, you can buy another one, too. So, yeah, might as well get two of them. You can't buy it anywhere else, or at least not for quite some time. But, yeah, so I want to get two of those for later. You don't have to, though. It's only two defense, so it's not critical. Put that in the bag there, too. Oh, uh, 
I forget if I said about the thief's key, but it'll still function from your bag. You don't have to have it in your active inventory, so that's okay. Now, about those pot lids, I didn't know that he sold those before I was recording this episode today. I mean, I did a little practice earlier, that's when I found out. But yeah, I didn't know about that before today. But anyway, if you have the money, this would be a really good deal, but I don't have the money. So, oh well. But yeah, with that other merchant with the pot lids, I checked the file from later on in the game, and apparently he sells different stuff throughout the game. Get, get an upgrade with the copper sword, but we're going to get something even better soon enough anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. So yeah, if you know more about the mechanics of the dealers around uh, Haggleton here, uh, let me know. I, I don't know why. Like, later on in the game, I saw, like, I got a pair of boxer sh shorts for a uh, thousand gold, which is pretty terrible. But, yeah, I don't know what causes him to change his wares, if it's like a sequence trigger, or whatever. But anyway, now that we got the money from the goods, we can buy the spirit crown. Or they could just be out of them. Why not? Nuts. What, besides all the forests around here? Oh, okay. Well, let's check it out. Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's a long time. If this was World of Warcraft, he'd already be dead. How many times have you done a quest in that game and they're like, Hey, go look for this person. Oh, they're already dead. Nuts. Okay, well, I, I think that's everything we can do here. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, let's talk to Buck here. Ah, okay. I just wanted to see if, uh, yeah, if he had anything to say after making the sale with him, but... Okay. Well, yeah, before we head out, let's, uh, let's save up here. You never know what might happen. Some of the enemies can still be a little tough, but now that we got the, uh, scale armor and shield, that should help us out a lot. With just one of us here, well, we got to be prepared for anything. All the hits, we're going to be taking all the hits. So, let's head west, ho, and see if we can't find that guy. But anyway, let's see, we got the uh, big bo book of beasts, you're on the overworld, you can take a look at some of the numbers for the enemies. They don't even tell you their HP. Wow, that is sad. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of useless, so I'm not even going to bother getting every single bestiary entry. I mean, I won't go out of my way for it, but... But anyway, okay, we got a couple new enemies here. We got the uh, Leary Louts on the left there, and the Slugger on the right. I want to kill the Slugger because he can potentially use Soul Tree Dance, which can stun you for a round, which would be really bad early on. The Leary Louts, well, as you can see, they have a tendency to like, or to have one of them defend and the other one attack you, so that way it takes longer to kill them while the other one's kicking your ass. So, oh well. But fortunately, we're still fairly tough, so we can take quite a few hits. Hmm, might not be a bad idea to go back to, uh, I almost said Dollarton, but no. <laughs> uh, Haggleton to rest up at the end, but, well, we're almost at our destination. But anyway, well, what's with that hole in the ground there? Looked like there was something down there. What's going on? Whoa. Who's there? Huh? Hey, how's it hanging? Well, obviously not good, but yeah. Cliff, really? No! You got yourself into this mess. But thou must! Yeah, you pretty much have to say yes. So. But can we save his life without putting our own at risk? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day! And he died. <laughs>